Jane Charles is apparently being sued, girl, by his former assistant. These are the legal documents here. The person tweeted out, Kelly Rockland said, watching the same people who screwed me over massively get their karma. I won one going two for two because I'm all about law and order. Now, Kelly used to work for Erica Costell, apparently, allegedly, and then she used to allegedly work for James Charles, and now she's suing James Charles for a wrongful termination. Now, this is developing stories, so we're gonna talk more about it when uh, more information develops. Let's get on with the drama. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Lux, and today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Oh my gosh, girls, let's talk, because I feel like we need to talk. First of all, I am so happy to be wearing this cape. I saw it, it's by Comme de Garçon, and I saw it at a time when I really didn't have like, you know, like the most money or whatever, and so I've always like wanted it, and I just, plenty of things I always wanted when I was like dead broke girl, okay? And I worked my butt off, and I found it years later, I found it on this website, not sponsored, although I should be. I found it on the website called The Real Real, and it was like literally like 50% off. So somebody had bought it and I guess they wore it and they're like, oh, I'm done with it. And I found it and I was like, I have to have this cape. So I bought the cape, it came in the mail, it has a little hoodie in the back, it's like a short little, I, I love it. Okay, so anyways, I just, I'm super excited, made of plastic, it's fantastic type of thing. Okay, we have a lot to go over and I have my drama shield, girl, so y'all don't come for me in the house. I'm ready. Come for me with your hate comments, girl. I'm ready all day long. Pew, pew, pew. Because, I don't know, I feel like this video will be like, hey, whatever. But anyways, it wouldn't be a drama video if you don't get to start some drama, right? Okay. All right, before we get into the drama, you already know this video is sponsored the house by Manscaped. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. They have the amazing shaver. I have been using the Weed Whacker a lot. Ears and nose, it's like, it's the best thing, girl. I love it for that TSA friendly, waterproof, and rechargeable. I'm not gonna steer you wrong. I'll put my link down below so you can definitely Definitely check it out if you want. And the discount automatically applies at checkout. So thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. And they are shipping to New Zealand, Australia, and the United Kingdom. So get on that if you feel so inclined. And thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. So first of all, uh, I want to give a big shout out to ColourPop. ColourPop sent me this in PR. It is their brand new Tea Cakes Cheek Palette. Um, most necessary praline, snickerdoodle, and yummy bite. And yeah, it's super cute. I can see like some blushes up here. I really am drawn to this. Oh, ho, ho. hold on, wait a minute. First of all, I thought this was a powder. This is a, look, look how it moves. Look, 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 let me let, let, me let it focus. Okay, look how it moves. Okay, it's, it's not, it's like a, it's like a putty or something. Oh, oh, it's not. It just glides, let me like really let it, it just glides on the skin. I should have primed my hand. It's literally like butter. Okay, I don't, I did not mean to talk about this palette that long. I did not know it was that type of consistency. Um, the other ones are pow are powders, except that one right there. Whoa, was a different, was a different, whoa. This was really good. I really want to play with that. And then a big, big super shout out to Anastasia Beverly Hills. They released their new palette. The, the goddess, the, the brain behind it, I guess, Norvina, had this great idea. She came out with three of these. This is Italian Summer. Thank you, Anastasia Beverly Hills, for sending, sending this for me in PR. It's the only one that I got. And I'm going to open it up with you live on camera. So the whole vision behind this was like having a face palette and this different like vacations, like events or whatever. So this one, oh my god, this is Italian Summer. So this is the packaging here. I love that like rose gold type of thing. Um, it says face palette, that's what it says in the back. And I'm gonna open it up here for the first time. Oh, wow. You guys ready? Check that out. So I just kind of feel like they were kind of smart when Anastasia Beverly Hills came out with this new palette. This is a brand new palette. I think it's probably in Sephora today. If you're watching this video or it goes on sale today. It's super cute, made of plastic, so fantastic. I love that. I think it's a great idea that they decided to do a face palette that was like a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. I just think it's a really great idea to do that because right now a lot of people just are like balling on a budget or whatever and they kind of just, you know, it. not everybody has the money to buy a whole entire bronzer, a whole entire highlighter, a whole entire blush. Here you get three in one. I think it's like a really, really great idea to do that. I don't know, I just think that's like really like, 
it, it's, it's thoughtful to do it that way. Obsessed with bronzers. If you know me, I freaking love a bronzer. I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill brush. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna pick some up here and see. Ooh, hold on. There we go. Mm-hmm. So you always, you always gotta snatch the jaw, girl. Okay, because the darker the jaw, the skinnier you look. The darker the neck, the skinnier you look. Okay. First of all, I love this. I'm looking at it right here on my monitor, so if you see me look a different way, that's what that is. Okay, then what I like to do, because you know, you already know, girl. What I like to do is I get the little highlighter right here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ha! <laughs> okay, I think I put too much. Oh my God, I'm having so much fun. All right, and I don't like, I used to like not really use that much blush. But like lately I am, this is the Makeup Geek brush right here. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this blush color and I'm just gonna put a little bit on here. This is the first time I'm trying that. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I see it, the little pinky tone came through. Okay, cute. There you go. Of course you gotta go ahead and just blend it all out, girl. Cause you know, I am the, uh, beauty channel of the world, YouTube over here. Okay, anyways, congratulations to Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is an amazing palette. Thank you, it's awesome. Okay, so let's talk. We gotta talk about James Charles. I have a lot to say about James Charles and this, and this continuation of this drama. I do wanna say, like, what happens, what happens next to James Charles? Where, where does James Charles go from here now, I guess that's what my my video was, was like is, is about, honestly. And I want to pass the question on to you guys and please, please, please leave it down in the comments down below. Like, where does James Charles go from here now? You know, like I was thinking about that. Mm, uh, and I was like, okay, he's he gonna take some time off. All right, take some time off, okay. But then what? But then what happens? Where where does he go from here? What is he doing, right? And uh, you know, there's some people have been saying that he's he's been on social media, liking stuff on Twitter and things like that, or blocking people. You know, I know how the rumors go. And I, you know, I don't think he's on, online liking stuff. I do think that he's reading what people are saying about him on Twitter. I do think that James Charles is watching videos about himself on YouTube. I do think, I mean, he's human. I mean, I think people do that, right? But I don't think that he's actively talking in, in people's DMs or whatever. I think he's literally taking a break, but that he is also blocking people on Twitter. I think he is doing that. There have been some people coming forward saying they've been blocked. Like, you know, just the other day, they were like, he said he was leaving the internet. Why, why did I just get blocked? So I do kind of feel like maybe people are saying things that are maybe hurting his feelings or saying things that are very out of line or out of bounds and he is blocking them. That I do believe. But the, the important question is like, what happens now to James Charles? Like, you know, I think the pendulum always swings. So if people are dropping him and want to disassociate himself from him, I think give it time, it'll swing back. And like it always does. Like he'll be in people's good graces again. I know, I know. That's why I got my drama shield right here. But like, say, go ahead, say what, say, say whatever you want about James Charles. But I just kind of feel like the pendulum always swings. So you know, before you ride ride so hard on his cancellation, he might come back. You know. And the question I asked on my other video was like, how long should he should he be gone from YouTube? You know. And when these when YouTubers say, I'm gonna take a step back from YouTube, whatever. Like I've seen people take a month off two months off, six months off, a year off. But you know, I think it, it varies on each person. You know, I, I do think that James Charles loves making YouTube videos. I do think he loves interacting with his subscribers. You know, I think that he peaked a long time ago in the sense of like, he made a lot of money. He could have easily walked away, but he kept going and he's keeping at it. I mean, if James Charles was to totally walk away from YouTube, he literally bought a house, bought cars, bought his parents a house as well, paid it off or whatever. He has accomplished so much in such a short period of time. And what I hear what I hear a lot from other people in the industry, they're like, oh, you know, he's just, he's a great guy and everything, but you know, he, he's a little bit big headed. He comes across like, like a little know-it-all, you know? And I think that sometimes if you're very young 
and you have a lot of successes, it does kind of, you know, inflate the ego just a little bit. Like, it really does. And you got to have people, you know, genuine people who are going to try to be like, hey, you know, let's, let's take it down a couple of notches. So I think maybe, I don't know if he has that or not. I hope he does or whatever. But I can see what people are talking about, you know. And I, cause I sit back because I've been reporting on this. For years, I've been talking about James Charles drama, the Jeffree Star drama, you know, the whole, the whole nine yards, girl. It's just, it's just sad because now it's like, I used to report on Tati, can't report on her anymore, she's gone. I used to report on Shane Dawson, can't report on him anymore, he's gone. I used to report on <laughs> Jenna Marbles, can't anymore, she's gone. You know, and here we are, James Charles, it's like the people that we used to talk about are slowly just like, where are they, where are they at, you know? And you got Jeffree Star, but he's not really causing that much drama lately. It's so it's just kind of like, come on, we need some we need some new beauty gurus. So leave leave some names down below of some of some problematic or non problematic beauty gurus we can talk about. I'll grow, who knows? But you know the cycle. I I do think that you know there will be a time when all these people that we talk about will phase out and there'll be a new batch of people to talk about. You know, it's kind of like a season of Drag Race, you know? A season of your favorite TV show. It's kind of like, you know, you have the contestants and then that season ends and we have the new ones. We talk about the new ones and that one ends. We talk about the new ones, but I don't know. It's, it's very interesting how things are playing out. Where does James Charles go from here? You know, how, how is his comeback gonna look like? How long should he wait to come back to YouTube? There's a lot of questions like that that I'm asking and I honestly don't know the answer to it. I wanna pass it on to you guys. It's like, what, what do you guys think about that? Anyways, so let me know what you think about all that drama in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, I love you so much.